20th, IRS criminal investigations initiated 122 investigations involving over $1.2 billion of potentially fraudulent ERTC claims for tax years 2020 to 2022. Mr. McCleary, you've got your Heather. I've got my Deb. Oh, is she going to play? Oh, come on. This is about an additional tax refund for your business for the year 2020 and 2021. You're actually scheduled to receive about $26,000 for every W-2 employee you have. Who wouldn't call back on this? Her name is Deb. I didn't have a Heather. I have a Deb. But it is amazing. It is amazing to me how many of these calls I've gotten. By the way, I called back. You you answered your phone. I called back today, or, or, or I've called back, and they still keep me on the list. And I tell them who I am. And yes, while I may have employees, I guarantee you I'm not eligible. And they still keep me on that list. So you know, we have learned that these ERTC mills have been approaching businesses and telling them that they qualify for the ERTC, even though some of these businesses were already told by their tax preparers that they don't qualify for the credit. So how prevalent do you find this issue if I'm getting calls and you're getting calls just this morning? And do you think it's led to an increase in improper ERTC claims? 100%. And you know, to your question, like, who on earth would call these people back? The answer is simple. 